find the white pumpkin down here? No, I think he's still upstairs. We should still be prepared for anything. Hey, do you hear lots and lots of zombies? Yeah, I do. I'm starting to smell them too. Ugh, oh, ditto. Gross. Mm. in my 
top ten places I've ever been. Well, there's where the meowing is coming from. Don't worry, we'll get out of here as soon as we find something that proves the White Pumpkin's identity. Uh. Looks like a typical brewing stand. Must be where the White Pumpkin made the tipped arrows that killed Dork Dog. Mm -hmm. Did Lizzie say that she taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those too? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she did. So that's the potion part, but what about the arrows? Cobwebs. Should be able to score some string from those. Jesse's trying to make you think that I'm the white pumpkin. 
That's impossible. No way. No way. Yeah, Jesse, I'm afraid you're going to have to do better than that. Look at the facts. We caught Lucas with that pumpkin head right after poor Lizzie got taken out. I think you're just lying to protect him. Cassie's making a lot of sense right now. Do you have any evidence to back you up? Something's been bothering me for a while now. Something that happened in the Great Hall shortly after Torque Dog was hit with that trap. What's that? Go on, Jesse. You've got this. Where is this going? Cassie Rose was already in the room. No one else there. And Torque Dog's picture was somehow crossed out. That doesn't prove anything. Lucas is still way guiltier looking. Well, what about what came next? When we were down in the basement, we found some very interesting items. Items for the White Pumpkin's evening festivities. And there was one very significant detail. What was this evidence? Shh! I think Jesse's about to tell everyone. The White Pumpkin had portraits all ready to go, pre-exed out, one for each of us, except for Cassie. <gasps> Oh, that's good. You're doing great, Jesse. Going for the kill. Metaphorical. It's the last piece of evidence to your friends that helped me really figure out who we were dealing with here. Cats. Dozens of calico cats. And they all look just like An amusing story, Jesse. But if you saw all these supposed cats just like mine, then what color is Winslow? It shouldn't be a problem if you saw a hundred. Cats? Really? Winslow is black, white, and orange. Kathy, is this all true? This whole thing has been about the crazy scheme to get a portal key, hasn't it? Killing whoever gets in your way. How very clever, Jesse. Well, I guess that's it then. You caught me. I am the murderer. I just don't believe this. I know. I was shocked too. I'm relieved, but also surprised. Cassie, I still don't understand why a portal key. I've been stuck in this stupid world with its stupid two moons for years. Trapped with a portal right under my nose. Oh, you know what? That is. Until I finally heard that this world's portal key had been found. I knew it was one of you. So I tried my best to earn your friendship. Figure out who had it. Cassie, could you? We shared cookies together. Cookies! Well, the joke's on you because Stampy had the portal key the whole time. What? Stampy? Really? No, oh, come on! Look at the big picture, people! Come on, the big picture! We need to do something to Cassie Rose. I vote we build an obsidian prison and surround it with love. No, I won't let you do that! I can't! No! This is your fault! You did this to me! I'll fight all of you! Each and every one of you! I'll... Another trap! We need to dig her out! After everyone she's hurt, she can dig herself out. She did terrible things, but no one deserves this. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, look. I can't believe it. She's gone. What a way to go. Yeah, I guess in all the chaos, she forgot where her own traps were. Wow. Wow. The trap were taken out by one of her own traps. That's ironic. If only she had just asked us for help, we could have avoided this whole thing. Hey, it's morning. In math terms, that means the voltage between two points is equal to the current flowing between those points times some number. I guess, I guess that's it then. Yeah, we're free. We're alive. Stop wasting standing around. Still be trapped Twice. everywhere in here. The electronic symbol for resistor is a zigzag in two terms. It represents a more complicated path and therefore reduced current flow. Note that it doesn't matter which way you connect the resistor, it will do its thing regardless of the orientation. We will connect the terminals and the resistor to the positive and negative terminals of a power supply that's been set to act as a source. I've never been so happy to smell rocking flesh. Yeah, that is. Yikes, that is pretty rank. 
how bad thinking about the people who aren't here to smell it. Talk dog, Sparkles, Lizzie, Cassie, I guess. Uh, that's a good point. It is really sad that they're gone, but I think they'd be happy that you guys made it out okay. I think you're right. Lucky for us, that portal brought you here. Speaking of which, I have no idea how to begin finding our exit portal. Well, Cassie said it was right under her nose, right? That's true. Maybe it's nearby. Hey, what do you know? There it is. A fabulous coincidence! So, I guess this is goodbye, huh? Yeah. Just let us know if you ever accidentally find yourselves in our world. <laughs> That's really nice of you, but I don't think we can really pull to a hop without a portal key. Oh, uh, well, I think Stampy's got you covered there. Ah, oh, that's right. I almost forgot about that. It was just meant to be a prank, a harmless prank, and I'm so sorry, so very, very sorry. Yeah, come on, it's Stampy. You know he would never actually try to hurt anyone. Hey, whoever keeps it, just make sure you're careful with it, okay? Yes, the ability to jump between worlds is not something to take lightly. After all this craziness, I might be done chasing flints and steels and portals anyway. Well, I'm not great at goodbyes, so I'm actually just going to start walking home. Thanks for everything. Yeah, me too. Travel safe, you guys. Bye! What a strange, strange bunch of individuals. Cassie, what's her name, was talking about being trapped here from another world. What if she was one of the old builders? Portal keys, other worlds. It all adds up, I guess. Nah, I think she's just another traveler like us. I feel like an old builder would have more of a special vibe. I guess that's true. I just can't believe that we finally met someone who might be an old builder, and she's a pumpkin-wearing serial killer. Typical. Well, here we are. Would you care to do the honors, Jesse? Huh? That's weird. Winslow? That's... I thought... Oh! time you've spent with endermites, but the poor things are eternally hungry. I would throw the flint and steel up here before I drop you down to find out how sharp their teeth are. Oh, guys, I dropped the flint and steel when we fell. I have no idea where it went. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, Jesse. What's it gonna be? The flint and steel? Or your lives? Just give me the flint and steel <laughs> and I'll let you go free. I don't believe her. Okay, you're right, you win. We'll give you the flint and steel, but let us out first. No, I'm not falling for that one. Nope, this is taking too long. I'll just let the Endermites eat you and fish it out of your inventory. It'll be the best fishing trip ever. <gasps> Wings for my pet. Activate the trap. Want something done right, Hagen? Prepare for your death. <laughs> Guys! Jesse! Come on, Winslow. <laughs> Stupid door? Oh, it's no use! Get a lever or button will never get these iron doors open. Just hold on, guys. I'm gonna get up to the control panel. <laughs> oh, that is disorienting. <laughs> Uh, 
just started going faster. She booby trapped her booby traps. This is so terrible. What? You thought you could do it just like that? Trying to get leverage? Give me that key, Jesse. Guys, no! No! Hey, Jesse! Guys, holy crap, you're all alive, thank goodness. Yeah, for now. Don't worry, I found a lever. Throw it down. Okay, get ready. I need to find that flint and steel. You're not a fast learner, are you? Yeah. I'm tired of this game, Jesse. The key. You didn't have it either. Oh no, it's mine. Nope. No. <laughs> no, we are going home. Captain Sparkles or Lizzie can say. You're right. Of course you're right. Wait. At least don't leave me here all alone. Give me my cat. My dear sweet Winslow. He's my best, my only friend. Please. Here, kitty. Here, you pain in the butt, kitty. Ah, there you are, Winslow. Who loves you? Come to master. Oh, there you are! There you are! You and me are together forever, just like it was always meant to be. Trapped together. Forever. 
Just me and my little Winslow. Wow, so she kept a real portal hidden down here all this time. Unless this one is a trap, too. I don't know if even she'd be that paranoid. There's one way to find out. Good sign so far. Yeah. No trick floors or arrows or anything. Okay, sure. But who's going first? We're a team. We all go together. Ready? One, two, two three. three. Adventure! What's going on, dudes? It's me, Captain Sparkles, next time on Minecraft Story Mode. After defeating the dreaded White Pumpkin, will Jesse and the others find their way back to the portal hallway? And will it lead them home? Or instead, are they destined for more perilous adventures? Well, I guess I'll never know because I got pounded into the ground by a ton of sand. I guess you saw that, right? I'm in the middle of an amazing speech, and boom! I've suddenly become part of the floor. I mean, dude, you saw that, right? How much worse can it get? First, they choose not to invite me on their adventure, and the next thing I know, I'm part of the floor. Anyway, one thing's for certain. Even without me, this is going to be an amazing adventure.